Welcome to another video. Back in glorious Cornwall. I got down here at about 20 past five. And it's a beautifully still morning. I'm down here just waiting for my mate John from the fish locker. So we'll wait for John, then we'll, uh, we'll load the boat up and get out into Big Blue. I'm excited. Beautiful sunrise there. And I'm just ogling sunrise while Mr. Fishlocker does all work, look here. Yeah. Here he is. What was in this thing? Open the lid and have a look. <laughs> he says open the lid and have a look. And he also said you could smell it through the lid, so... I don't know about this. <gasps> Breath old. Oh, no, it's a screw lid, I'm not going in there. What is it, man? It, I can smell it, what is it? Right, all aboard, what do you have to say? Let's have a look then, you having a look? Ready? Yeah. Let's get a real good oh. whip of it. <coughs> ah, wow. Hey, up, big swan. See if we can get him on camera, look. Big swan catching cook. John says visibility looks okay, and I'm like, well, I'll just cut to a clip of what I've been dealing with of late. So, we're gonna get suited and booted, and, uh, and just have a little look and see what we can See if we can find a crab or a lobster. Not keen on shooting anything. I'm just not keen on shooting anything and dealing with it when I can't cook it. So if I get a if I get an, a decent bass, I'll take that home with me. I think. I just like how optimistic you are that you're gonna find a big bass. <laughs> it's not it's not it's good to be optimistic. It's not just as easy as that, is it? Yeah. Whee! There's the seabed there. Right, seabed, and we're in about 15 feet of visibility. 15 feet of is, that's brilliant, man. For those of the year that don't know, which you probably will do, I'm out with John from the Fish Locker, which is a very popular fishing channel on YouTube. Go check him out, obviously links below. And he's gonna take me down, we're gonna see what we can, see what we can rustle out at the little holes and stuff. What are we on with, what are we on for? What are you thinking we're gonna get? Just here for crack. He's just here for crack and I'm the crack. Oh yeah, because we're uh, down doing a bit of patio work for John. We're building his patio at the moment. And that's her finished. Um, just done a Indian stone in a random pattern. You see none of the corners meet and uh, none of the joint gaps are too long. We've got some oak sleepers as a retainer. A little step up with some golden gravel there. And then... Uh, what do you think of it? Good. good, he says good, and uh, I've done a little thing here for James, James put his handprints in there, I've chucked a couple of scallop shells in there just to, so you're under no illusions whose patio it is, and that's the job done. So this was the best day to come out for a dive, so that's what we're doing. So we're down tools. <laughs> we're down tools. Let's and uh, for job. Yeah. Comes with right, let's get suited and booted. Right, we're suited, we're booted. And we're off in soup. Oh, look what you've got. Hey, up. Nice, mate. We're out at water. 
John's done excellent. Oh, look at all them, look. Healthy ecosystem. Unfortunately, them lads are pretty much bottom at food chain. <laughs> well, unless I jump in water, then I automatically could become bottom at food chain around these parts. I'm not very good at it. Uh, um, right, we'll just run through what I did first. I jumped in, went to load my spear gun, and it shat it. So, no spear gun. Farted about with my GoPro, getting it off my spear gun, onto me noggin. For the first time I've had it on me proper, like a uh, headband, and that went really well. AKA, there's a GoPro 8 on bottom at sea. The main man has had a little bit of success. So let's have a little well, look. What you? Options we get between it? There's three or four. What did we get? Keep the biggest one. Yeah, we kept biggest one. John got one and brought it back to the boat, but it wasn't up to it wasn't up to size, was it? First one I found was size, but wasn't as big as this. So all I've just kept doing was, every time I found a bigger one, I'd come back, put the bigger one in the boat, and let the little one go. And we've ended up. Look at that. Look. Let's have a little look at her. And there we go. Paul managed to kind of save his blank <laughs> with like one of this out of a Ridley Scott film. That just look at that, through. man. So this is a spider crab for anyone who doesn't know. You get his other one so it doesn't get me. We'll have to look after each other here. This is the trust game. There's, there's no real way of holding these without them causing you some type of damage because the backs are spiky as hell and all. So that's pretty big, isn't it? There you go, look here. So that's How spider. spectacular was that? Look at that, look. Cornish king crab. Cornish king crab. See you later. So what's planned now then, Captain? Get changed, go fishing. Get changed, go fishing, sounds like a plan. This is officially fishing. You're going to have to start doing something in a minute. Apparently I'm going to have to start doing something in a minute. Gaffer's told me. Thing is, out here he's Gaffer. Put me next to a patio, then I'm Gaffer. But out here, he calls shots. No part-time fisherman here. There's no part-time fisherman here. There's no labourer. We just get on with it. I'll have that single one then, shall I? Hey, I tried. There you go. <laughs> what? You want me to show you how to do it, don't you? <laughs> no, you just press play. Oh, you just press record so you can teach me on air so I look like a oh, muppet. Just like Rodolin. Tune in tomorrow when, we, when we'll record me teaching him how to do mixes. It's cement it's mixer. Someone... Easy you, life. You get up and down. Easy life. Right. Oh, Dances around each other. Damn it. This is going to be a rasp. Fish on. Is a big boy Billy Rass. Is that what he's called? I love the unknowing, like, oh, he's called it, look. He's not happy about it here, is he? Is it a ballon, Rass? It's a little ballon. I think he was trying to make friends with the lure. No, he's not. doing any favours. There you go. They're yeah, ballon, Rass, they, they don't attack him to eat him. They attack him out of aggression. Just to keep it away from keep its, it its area. Yeah. Yeah. There you go, look. <laughs> keep winding. Keep winding, lad. Keep winding. Keep winding. Oh, I've lost one of them. Alright, we're getting swung in then. There we are. There you go. Two Enjoy of your, yourself. Thanks very much. Two of your finest Cornish English, sandals. well, Cornish sandals. Uh, I'm just going to wrestle with these and dispatch them. No, I'm not going to dispatch them. Put them in bait bucket. How many miles off shore do you think we are? Million. We're a million miles away from home. We're scared. We're hungry. We're thirsty. We're worried. Got out to a wreck. Just an old first drift over the top of it. And Paul was doing his very best to bring in a fish. And he's doing a really good job at making it look hard. Oi! All right! Make a video of me doing it past you tomorrow. <laughs> All that our skills. This could very well be a PB fish for you, could not it? Mate, if it's bigger than that sand eel, it's a PB fish. I've got colour. Whoa, what's that, man? The Ling. Ling the Merciless. You've got a photo of you with your, with your <laughs> PB link. It's tiny though, isn't it? The fishing community will laugh at me with that. Well, it might be the only one that you catch today, so we'll get a photo of it and see it can't put it back. Right, we're back at the marina. We had the the weather turned on us and the sea was choppy as so we've come in, gonna grab some food, do a bit more patio work, live to fight another day. 
We'll be back. Can't finish this trip without catching some at half decent. You we'll don't have to catch some shit. <laughs> what am I saying? What, 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 what is it? Because I'll leave that in. <laughs> I'll leave that in. What am I chatting? <laughs> Don't say I'm chatting shit. I'm probably, I'm probably right. He's probably you right. Chat some guff, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm chatting guff to my lads, though. You all know what I mean. You've been with me for long enough to know that it's all real talk. And we're going to be back down here pulling out some monsters in the next couple of days. Trying this on my phone because I don't have my camera. We're back down. I'm just going to try and find my GoPro that I lost the other day. So it's been a couple of days, but I'm hoping it's it hasn't been too much of a swell. According, <laughs> just getting a quick video of John's ass through the looking glass there. There he is. Look, I'm just going to try and find it while John scoots about looking for some lobsters. <laughs> Lovely day. Whee. Let's switch to GoPro because John's kindly sell, uh, saw it me out with one of his. Many days. How many days was that under there? It's been a good pull. Couple of yeah, days. 36 hours. After 36 hours. Look at that. Still got battery on it. Tens of GoPro that, that, yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh, so happy to get that back. I've got my GoPro. Sun's going down, and I got a lobster. So that's just bang on in it. And um, for those of you. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I'm holding the camera still. <laughs> right on bingo wing. <laughs> really hurt me. <laughs> Ow! Did it go through the suit? Well, there you go. <laughs> That's gonna scar. That's gonna bleed. I'm bleeding. I'm medic. I wish I'd recorded that. <laughs> <laughs> that really hurt, like. <laughs> right, so that's a first. That <laughs> Nipped by a lobster on bingo wing. Hold on. Let me get me composure because I was going to say something there before that happens. Did she just grab me or did you do that on purpose? <laughs> I did. I'll, uh, what I'll do is I'll overlay a little photo of the damage that that's done now. See? Uh, yeah, go check that video and go see. Go check out the notching system that he does on there because it's all about sustainability and, and go check out the size of them lobsters. In fact, you shouldn't even subscribe to him actually. Don't bother. Don't bother. Right, here we go again. Early doors, five in the morning. Look at that. And we're off, off out to sea. Here we are, look. Early morning, we're going, we're off out, we're off out to sea, a whip is on lifeboat. Then I'm here with, as you can read, the cock blocker. The cock blocker, can't say that, the fish locker, and my new pal Chris. Give us a wave, Chris. There he is. And we're off out to go and target some. We're targeting Jonathan Fish. We're targeting, believe it or not, seagulls. We're going to get, try and get some bass, pollock, things that'll bite lures. But I'm not going to fish. So I'm like, I'm like the guy who does the washing up and all that sort of shit. 
I'm Deckhand. Is that what you call it? I'm Deckhead. I'm Deckhead. I'm Deckhead. <laughs> well, anyway, look, beautiful, beautiful morning. Look at that, golden nugget. What's legal size with a pollock? Bigger than that, get away. Woohoo! One, I ain't blanked. Unlike John, fortunately, look. <laughs> what are you calling it as pollock? Nice pollock, apparently. Good eating size, wow! Look at that, beautiful! The pink lure doing its thing, look at that man. How much do you reckon that weighs? About five or six? Six of it. Right, here we go, Whitby bringing it back. Come on, lad. It's not in the boat yet. There's a bit of a bend on rod, but it's because he's got a little tiny rod on him, that's what they say. Yeah, that's what the girls say. <laughs> what are you calling it, a pollock? Oh, it is a pollock. A little bit smaller than Chris's. Oh, it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would have said this one would be the fourth. Yeah. Let's have a look at her. Have you got anything to say about her? Because I mean, like, don't forget that people on my channel don't see much fish because I'm a shite fisherman. I don't catch much. So. Nothing much to say other no. than this one's been in the wars a little bit. Oh, a bit yeah. of scars on its side. You can see these have been living in the kelp by how mottly they are down the sides of there. Yeah. When you catch them on the deep wrecks, they're quite quite pale. Yeah. Destined for the table. Caught on a storm lure. Look at him with his proud catch, look here. What is it? <laughs> oh no. Pot bait. Uh, WTF. You alright? Um, a very, very fat mountain. It's all the fish well, that's around the bait. That's why, that's why the fish are being difficult to catch. Because there's that much bait fish around. But they're just spoiled for choice. I think I've got a ghillie suit on. Well, I've got a spider, Ed Brown, and a lobster, all undersized. Velvets. Right, we're suited and booted now, and we're John, Chris, and Callum are on that boat. We're on this boat, and we're going to go and see if we can get some some piscatorial delights. After a successful scallop parade, we had a dive back down to see if I could see any bass. I had a little swim around, hung around under the kelp, tried rubbing my bands, that's not a euphemism, to make a little bit of noise, did a bit of grunting, that sometimes lures the curious fish in, Stro all the stroking for no reward. As you can see here, there was a school, but they were just a little bit too small. I didn't want to take a pot shot. I had a look around on the sand to see if I could find any flatfish, but to no avail. I'm happy with the scallops. There's Chris and Callum. John. We've had our first little foray. As you'll have seen on my film, I know I grabbed a couple, but 
Scallops, that, we'll have a little. That is actually a hairy one. That's actually a hairy, a bearded. Look at that, a bearded scholar. <laughs> That's not, no, not after yesterday's debacle. Just done the scallops in garlic butter and um, and boiled the lobster. Just so you know that nothing's going to waste, it's all getting eaten. Um, this is the lemon. It took me a while to get this out of from under the rock. But one big breath hold and, and I managed to get it out of there. Tea time. Right, we've done with diving. We've come to lift one of a haul. One of John's pots. He's been out here a while. Salty sea dogs now. We've been out here for a while. Three um, days. <laughs> for three days, yeah. Oof. Let's have a look. Just it's a crabs. Just crabs. Just crabs. There might be a keeper. A gear missing. Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Hey, just. No. Not with them. If that gets under your toe, you're absolutely done for. Look at that bruiser, man. I get PTSD now when John holds anything with claws around near me. Hey! <laughs> Steven Seagull! Whenever you're doing this and you put it on the side, the main thing is to make sure you keep your feet flat on the deck so you don't get any rocks on your own. So how deep is it here? It is 46 feet. And that's litter, so... Look at him! He's just following the boat because he's seen our, our pollock. Yeah, knotted lad. Heron gull. Don't no, blame him though, it looks tasty. Is it? Do you need me to dive down? <laughs> Good. Will you shut up? You're not having out. You'll spoil your dinner. Windle swingers, back now, now. Windle, Windle swingers, name of a new band. It's worth pointing out that John is ex Navy SEALs. No. <laughs> ex Navy, and I went to SEALs when I was a kid. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Uh, yeah, ex-Navy, so he knows he's not, does lad. Rescue uh, Coast Guard going out, hope it's nothing serious. Nil poire. What's in this one? A oh, a couple more edibles. Too small to keep off. Yeah, that, we can just tell. Female. Yeah, where she goes. Another one. Look how white that is. See the top of his shell's caved in. Yeah, still soft. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's just peeled. Just peeled. In he goes. Yeah, that was what was in there before. That's, that's uh, the skull. The skull of a ling. Is it a ling? That's where the teeth were. Yeah, it's where the teeth were. The dragon skull, isn't it? Yeah, that's good that. Oh, we're there, we're there. Will it stink? Too bad. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this ling skull to put with me rest of my skulls, I think. Yeah, piece of vertebrae. I don't want that, you can have that. A bit of vertebrae. Do I want this ling skull? Let me have a think. Does it stink? I can't tell whether I stink or it stinks. Or if Why it doesn't stink. The power of ling skull. The power of ling skull, ling the merciless. Does it stink, mate? It does stink, doesn't it? It's too small that. Does it smell, do you think? It does a bit, doesn't it? No, to, to put in my room, like to put on my school shelf. Fucking hell, what's happening here? Jesus. Oh, hell. Nah, ling oh. it, ling it back to, the gullies will have it. They're not that daft, have a look at yep. it There it is, you can't always, that's a big one. I do, I do occasionally catch big fish. He does like. Tune into the Fish Locker YouTube channel if you want to see him catching these big fish. Link below. Ah. 
I can't wait to see that bit of the video where you get good by that. <laughs> I, might, I might not put it in. Why not put it in? Because I did make a meal of it, a meal hesky of it, didn't I? But With the noises that were coming out here, I expected there to be like a mortal wound. <laughs> to be fair, I thought it was going to be like you know, one of them bru like real brews at least. <laughs> no. There was now. There was niche. So I was going to bait them up again. It's an ongoing thing. So that's all the, the Pollock used. He's filleted it off to take home and then the rest of it goes in pot, goes over and then hopefully catches something else in there. So even cycle. the waste, you can turn it into a lobster organ. Yeah, it's brilliant. Nothing goes to waste. The holistic approach. Being at sea and then grafting, but grafting's taken a bit longer than expected with weather and fishing breaks. But I have been looked after by the fish locker family have very, very much so looked after me. To the point where I was even having a nice Sunday lunch with John's father-in-law and mother-in-law. A lovely uh, pork dinner cooked by Hannah, which was a, a joy to be a part of. So grateful for that. And as I said before, and I've said many times, go and, um, go and follow John on YouTube and Instagram. And on. homemade pavlova. Oh yeah, yeah, and John's mother-in-law uh, knocked up some homemade uh, pavlova and it was just delicious so to get cooked for like that it's worth the trip it's worth the trip alone just for that pavlova if you're watching John's mother-in-law <laughs> right we'll see you next time it'll probably I'll be back down Cornwall maybe in a few months maybe in a month who knows but I will be down here again but for now we'll catch you later say so see you see you later see you later Oh my son